Hey, Austin here, and I know it's been a while since we've talked about anything real, so this is it. Uh, last year in November, after getting COVID, I was diagnosed in the hospital with ulcerative colitis, which is a form of IBD similar to Crohn's disease. I've made a ton of content about UC already that's available on my channel, but this is going to be the first video I'm actually pushing out to subscribers. So welcome, glad you could be here. This video is going to comprise of two things. It's going to be major life updates on my end and kind of where the channel may be going, as well as the nitty gritty health update details because I know some of you are only gonna be here for that. So time codes, of course, in the description down below and you can slide to whatever you want. So let's jump into this. What is ulcerative colitis? It is a chronic autoimmune disease with no known scientific cause or cure. It's categorized by the immune system, basically attacking uh, the colon, which in turn shreds itself. Now there's a lot of other nasty details that I will not be sharing here, but basically it is very painful and no fun and very hard to understand, manage, and control. And to be honest with you guys, this past year has been really, really rough. I mean, I was in and out of the hospital a bunch. I got blood transfusions, iron transfusions. I failed several rounds of medication. And all in all, I was just really challenged both physically by the pain of the disease and also mentally by just the trauma of trying to come to grips with the fragility of health and my own mortality. So it's been a journey to say the least. But despite all that, today, 10 months after my initial diagnosis, I'm happy to announce that I am stable and I've not had any major setbacks in the past four months. And I'm very optimistic about the way things are trending. And generally speaking, people can suffer from UC or Crohn's for years on end. So I feel very fortunate that right now I am feeling healthy and I am not in pain. All right, so there has just been so much going on. I am in my final semester of grad school. I'm doing a master's of science in analytical marketing at the University of Florida, which fun fact, just got ranked as the top five school in the nation. So that's awesome. I am super happy to be back in class with other people. I have been so socially isolated the past year because of my condition and also because of the pandemic that it's just chill to be in a room with other live human people being a part of the class discussion. So outside of school, I am also working part-time. I was working full-time over the summer. I had turned an internship into a full-time position. So I am now the director of marketing and uh, head of strategic partnerships at Imprint Genius, which is a supply chain and smart sourcing startup out of uh, UF. So actually the, the, the founder was a UF student and started the business while he was still um, at university, which is awesome. Things are going really well and we're going to be moving our headquarters to Austin, Texas next year so uh, I'm looking forward to start that adventure as well. In terms of extracurricular activities I'm excited to share that I am trying my hand at stand-up comedy which has been an adventure and a half. I started last summer with my roommates who are two very, very funny individuals who just moved to New York to try out comedy and being in the production scene up there. Um, and I've kept up while they've been gone. So I go twice a week to just open mics and like local shows um, around the university. Um, and it's a lot of fun. I'm actually right now working on putting together a big show for November. So I will either try to live stream that or get that film so I can share what I've been working on with all of you, which leads me into YouTube. Uh, so YouTube's an interesting situation because I am very busy with work. I'm very busy with school and now I'm doing stand up. So where does YouTube fit into my life? That's kind of a big question. I love making content. I love making videos, sharing my experiences and sharing information. And um, you guys have all been awesome for those of you who are still subscribed. Um, but I don't live in Germany anymore. And so I think Germany content is kind of done. So what to do next is the big question. I don't know yet. I'll keep you guys posted on that. Thank you for being here. And now I'm going to talk about more health related stuff. All right, so moving forward, let's talk about my very exciting FMT or fecal matter transplant. Now, this is exactly what it sounds like. It is fecal matter from a healthy specimen human person being shoved up my colon to um, help repopulate my microbiome of all that great 
um, bacteria that it was somehow missing. It also is a great treatment to C. diff, which is why I got it because I got C. diff twice, which is just a bacterial infection that uh, probably occurred because my immune system was down. That went super well. Um, I recovered almost immediately after that and my symptoms for C. diff went away. I got off antibiotics and things have been good ever since. There is some evidence to suggest that fecal matter transplants done um, over time can actually uh, help with ulcerative colitis. I wasn't part of a study like that. This was simply to treat the C. diff. Um, so whether or not it is helping my underlying condition, I don't know. It is a pretty crazy procedure though, because I mean, technically there's just someone else's stuff up in you and you have to try to hold on to it as long as you can, which is just really funny. Never before have I, you know, taken a of someone else's you know what I'm saying? Also, it's funny because like the hospital that I got it from, apparently they just have a guy who apparently has a really good gut and just does this whenever this procedure is necessary. Like that's someone's life. Someone's job is that they are just the dude who provides the goods. All right, so moving on, let's talk about medications. I'm currently on Zeljans, which has been awesome for me. Uh, Zeljans is a JAK inhibitor, which is a form of immunosuppressant, which uh, manipulates part of the immune system so it does not attack my colon. On the plus side, it means my colon doesn't shred itself. On the negative side, it means uh, my immune system overall is subdued, which is not great in general, and I don't love that, but I do prefer that outcome to um, having my colon removed. So that's where I'm at mentally, although I would like to get off of Zeljans in the future because I don't wanna be on any drugs that manipulate any part of my body that is not natural. But for the time being, I am on five milligrams a day or twice a day. So five milligrams twice a day. Initially, I was on 10 milligrams twice a day, but we've reduced that because I'm doing well and I don't need that much immunomodulation. That's been Zeljans, which leads into my next point about the COVID vaccines. I have gotten three of the Pfizer BioNTech vaccines. I got my booster shot two weeks ago. Um, and the reason I got a booster shot is because it was recommended for people who are immunosuppressed. I talked to uh, my physician as well as some family friends who are also in the medical field. They said, go ahead and get it. So I said, okay. Now there is some research to suggest that Zeljans might have a minor effect on the efficacy of the vaccine. So that just reinforced uh, another reason why I went to go get that third shot. Um, I'm in a college town. There are people everywhere here. I do not want to get sick. That is my reason. All right, so last but not least on updates, let's talk about diet. So my diet um, has been expanding slowly. I would not say I have, you know, the smorgasbord of food options yet, but I am slowly exploring what I can and cannot do. My daily driver right now is a big smoothie in the morning that consists of unsweetened um, almond milk with a banana, with a ton of blueberries, with flax seed, with chia seed, with hemp seed, um, as well as um, cachava powder, which is like um, a protein powder that has a ton of awesome stuff. And I like it a lot. I would recommend it if your body can tolerate it at this point, as well as some other vegan proteins. Um, I also add a lot of ginger. I add cinnamon uh, as well as some allspice. And I think that's everything I throw in there. Uh, some peanut butter as well. So some, some smooth peanut butter. And that is like a ton of calories. And I drink that in the morning and that can generally sustain me for a large part of the day. Now, I wanted to wrap this video up with some goals and concerns of mine for the future. Um, a goal is definitely to, to continue to increase the stability of my microbiome by adding in more foods, more fermented foods, more pro and prebiotics, uh, really just getting a, a, full, a full shield of internal defense uh, because eventually I would like to get off of immunosuppressants. I would like to get off of Zeljans. Um, I don't know what that's gonna look like for me, but when that time comes, I wanna make sure that my body is ready. Uh, concerns, of course, living in a college town and being around people, even though I'm careful and wear a mask, is still getting sick. I am immunosuppressed, so even like a cold with a fever will affect me a lot differently than it would someone with a, a normal body chemistry, I guess. All in all, I'm, I'm very fortunate to be in the position I am currently. I'm working very hard to keep things under control, to not take any risks. There's no cheat days in this for me. Um, and I'm excited for what the future is gonna hold for me in, in Austin, Texas, or with comedy or with YouTube. So if you made it to this part of the video, thank you for hanging out. I hope um, if you have UC or Crohn's disease, um, I hope that uh, you continue to improve and are doing better and uh, have a, a great, have a great time out there, guys. I always struggle with these closers, so see ya.